Hi gang, Scott here. I'm uh, talking about this new feature in Luminar Neo, power line removal, an AI powered feature to get rid of power lines in your photos. And uh, to be blunt, to be frank, this feature of Neo needs some work. There are some things that are good about it. There are some things where it will be quite useful, but there are also some limitations and I want you to be aware of those. And so what we'll do in this video is go through a series of examples, uh, putting this tool to the test. A few different photos that I have with power lines in them. We'll see how this thing fares. So um, that's uh, that's the, the nutshell of what we're gonna do here. Let's get into some examples. And this first photo uh, is not a good photo. The reason we're going to use it is it will illustrate everything we need to know. All right, this photo here, not a good photo, but it has power lines and I want to focus you in on a few areas of this photo. So first, we have some very clean power lines with nothing behind it except a, a very dull and gray sky, right? Then we have some power lines that are cutting across some tree lines. And then finally we have you know, actual power poles with junctions and wires and all sorts of things cutting through here. And so what happens when we use this utility? The remove power lines is in the erase tool. There is a button here, remove power lines. I click it and then Luminar Neo just goes off and starts looking at your photo, thinking about it, figuring out what it may or may not remove as a result. And so that's just finished. And we look and things are, are much cleaner, of course, but uh, there are some artifacts as we look closely, some more obvious than others. But let me just toggle this off and on and press and hold the little quick preview. Before all that, and after, before and after. And now let's look deeper at what's going on. Well, certainly what worked very well before, all this stuff up in the sky where it was clean sky, Luminar does a great job. Luminar Neo just finds that stuff, gets rid of it. It left the little floating head of a street lamp that's easily dealt with with the erase tool. But now I wanna zoom in to these trees over here and let's take a closer look at what's going on in here. Okay, now again, before and after, before and after. Look at what it did in say this section right here where these lines are cutting through the trees. Neo found those things and for the most part removed them through there. A little bit of artifacting here. Uh, it did less of a successful job on this sweep right here. If we do another before and after, before and after, some of those got picked up and removed. Other ones didn't. Interestingly, it found half of this like curved sweep here before and after. And so let me zoom back out again to fill the screen. What we're getting here is kind of a feel for what works well with remove power lines. And if there's a clean background, it'll work really, really well. When you start to have something behind the power lines that's a little more complex, you're going to see some hits, some misses. And I'm gonna show you a few more examples where those hits and misses become more problematic along the way. But the key takeaway for looking at it at a broad level, if there's clean background behind your power lines, you know, imagine a clean sky and you're taking a photo of whatever it is and there's just that one annoying line that goes through, this tool does a very good job of getting rid of it. But now let's look at a second example where we do have just kind of clean power lines going all the way through a scene. But what's behind it is a little more complex and, and uh, there are some, some artifacts that need to be dealt with. Okay, here, uh, another photo, some power lines, triplet of power lines just kind of going all the way through the scene. They're pretty clean lines. They're pretty straightforward, easy to see, uh, can be dealt with with our classic tools to remove them. How does the remove power lines button fare here? Not bad at first glance, although there are some artifacts. There's a couple that are very obvious. You can see right in the center of the photo. And then there's more going on when we look a little closer. So once again, let's get in at 100% zoom here. 
and we can see right away here are some artifacts before and after. Now why those didn't get picked up I don't know but also look at what happens to some of the ridge lines behind that power line that was removed before and after. It's kind of muddy there you can see that I'm, I'm highlighting that's muddy before and after. It's you know, kind of just where certain seams of different land masses meet. There it's kind of it's kind of crunchy. It's kind of messy. As we look over to the sides here, now I don't see anything. I don't see any power lines. Let me do a before and after. Before and after. And then now that I see where they were and where they are, you know, there's some areas that get just a little bit uh, not unclean, I guess would be the right word for it, just unclean. I move over here, before and after, before and after, like right in here, that's just a little bit messy, where I could clean these things up with clone and stamp. Uh, I don't have clone and stamp in Neo, that's one of the things that's still missing. Uh, but I have other tools that have that. But I'm having to hunt around to find these artifacts uh, more than I would like. And so this kind of photo, this is an example of a photo where I don't think that remove power lines is ready for prime time. I need to use something else to go remove things because I need to maintain that detail back there. For this landscape, the detail is important. Let's have a look at another photo uh, where the remove power lines did a little better than I thought it would, but it still left me some things where with the tools in Neo, uh, I don't know if I can really clean it up uh, as the tools stand. So here, uh, you got this one power line coming in from the right-hand side of the frame. It's against a clean background. Remove power lines should be able to uh, take care of what's in the sky. And what I was expecting was more uh, remnants on the seam of the building or the seam of the, the lifeguard tower here. So right up in here, I was expecting there to be more mess in this area. And it did a great job of following that curve down and into, uh, into the frame. And it maintained this line here very, very well. Uh, the rest of this stuff, pretty straightforward to deal with. We could erase that. Let's go ahead and do that. Cool. This is the one I'm not sure if I can handle. I'll click once and erase. Okay, we did a good job there. So this one here, maybe one little click there. So this is another one where I was surprised that the remove power lines followed that curve of that line and did a pretty good job. A couple of clicks and I was cleaned up. That's certainly faster than a standard workflow of trying to erase the object and then going and cleaning up. It was, you know, it was a click and then a couple of uh, erase strokes, strokes there. So, so that one was pretty okay. You know, that uh, I'd, I'd put in the success column for the remove power lines plus erase, you know, before and after. Nice, easy cleanup. In this next example, I'll show that remove power lines uh, looks like it did a good job straight out of the shoot but it's up to the photographer to really study the photo and, and make sure that things are accurate and things look right. So uh, here's the photo, and this is a good candidate for power lines. We've got a power line cutting across a pretty clean blue sky, reaches down to that, uh, that church there. We've seen a couple of examples already where it crosses over into a building or into like tree lines. You know, the, uh, the Remove Power Lines does a pretty good job at maintaining uh, those, uh, those crossings, those, uh, those thresholds. All right, it's finished. A tiny little artifact floating up there in the sky. You can see that right up over at the edge there, that little dot there. That will be easily taken care of with the Erase tool. And as we crossed into the threshold, it did a good job maintaining that edge. Left a little bit here, but what's more problematic is this. This is not a power line, but it's the shadow cast by the power line that we just removed. And that's something you, the photographer, need to watch out for. So the power line got removed, but the shadow didn't. I mean, when we do handheld or handcrafted removal of distractions, we also have to pay attention to the shadows they cast, or uh, you know, if they would change the the tonality of the of the area there. Well, that is something that the remove power lines 
utility will not do, at least not yet. So that, that shadow that was there before and after, once I put two and two together and I see that, that draping power line coming down to the church and we see that you know the sun, the direction of the sun, we can tell by the other shadows that this was you know roughly uh, roughly high noon. Uh, that we have removed the line, not removed the shadow. So that's an area where the power line removal will fall short today. And this last example I'll share with you, I put in the it doesn't make sense category. And uh, let's, let me just show you the photo. You'll know what I mean. All right, yeah, there's power lines all over the place here. Removing them in a scene like this just doesn't make sense. You've got a gigantic power pole in front of it, loads of things going on with the power lines flying around, and you try to do a, you know, a one-click removal of all this stuff. Not only are you going to be left with artifacts, but also left with a ginormous power pole with no power coming to and from it. For a photo like this, it doesn't make sense to get rid of the power line. And we can see there's a lot of stuff behind, a lot of detail behind these power lines and their lines in the slats of the wood. So the, the, the tool does not be, it does not pick that up. It, it can't discern, it doesn't distinguish between the power lines and the lines going uh, through from the, the wood. It gets confused. Uh, you know, it left something really large floating out over here. The clean stuff got taken care of. You know, this one didn't, but again, for a scene like this, it doesn't make sense to try to remove the power lines. The power lines are part of the story of this photo, right? This is just how this scene is. And you know, in some of these uh, little spots, at least in the US and the older towns, and you've got you know, the, the above ground power lines, this is what things are, this is what they look like. So uh, don't, uh, don't uh, expect miracles from removed power lines. Even if it nailed the power lines, you're gonna have junction boxes and all the other accoutrements that come with getting power from one place to another still in your photo. So what is the net net of all this? Uh, the remove power lines tool, it's okay, but it needs work. It's uh, good for select photos. If your power lines are going across clean backgrounds, great, use it, it will speed up your workflow. Beyond that, you'll need to spend measured time looking for artifacts to see that things are acceptable or to clean up things that the tool missed or you know left some smudges behind. The one that surprised me was the power lines going across the mountain range because those were pretty clean lines and um, reasonably well-defined backgrounds. Nothing too uh, amazingly detailed in the sense of you know, intricate patterns that needed to be maintained. But uh, the, the, the tool did not follow the landlines as I thought that it would. Whereas with a clone stamp tool, I could do that. I could do those cleanups myself. And the clone stamp is not available in Luminart Neo right now. So if you are needing to do cleanup, it's going to be uh, limited to what you can do with the erase tool. It's, uh, it's pretty good. We saw an example where you can do some cleanup with that, uh, but it won't solve every problem that I think you could face with needing that additional cleanup after doing a remove power lines. So that's the story with the tool. Uh, I'd like to see it improve. I'd like to see this, this grow into something that is uh, more uh, useful across a broader set of photos. And maybe the last thought is uh, don't expect magic. You know, that one example, that last one I showed you, it doesn't make sense to remove certain things from photos. I mean, it, when, it's, when it's central to the photo or part of the story of the photo, trying to rip it out of there, Easier thing to do is when you're in the field, change your framing. Just you know, take a step left, take a step right, uh, or you know, you have to just roll with it, and it's part of the scene, and it needs to be there. I hope you found the video useful, helpful. Uh, you have questions? Go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.